The depth pass is one of the default passes offered by ZBrush and can be used in a couple of ways over in Photoshop. The first thing we can do is add a depth of field effect and to do this we want to control A to copy the mask then come over to channels and create a new alpha channel called depth and then paste in the depth mask. Now if we go to filter, blur, lens blur and make sure the source is set to the layer we just created You'll notice the focal distance changes as we click around the model. And if we turn up the radius, you can see that where we click on the model determines what part of the model is in focus. Pretty cool. Another trick you can do, which I learned from zbrushguides.com, is to first invert the depth mask, and I'll bring this under my BPR mask. Now if we create a solid color adjustment layer, and paste in the inverted depth mask into the layer mask, we get this dynamic fog-like effect, which can help unify the model into the background. Use the levels adjustment on the layer mask to adjust the effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Peace.